everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and in today's video, not only will I be showing you guys an unboxing of this big gargant hair, I'm also going to show you guys how I got on with building this big gargant hair. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, my mega gargant is here. I've been waiting so long to get this guy. Now the box itself is pretty big. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over whatever's in the box, the sprues, the book that comes with it, and then the second half of the video I'm going to build this up and we'll get a nice big size comparison as well. So ultimately you get three gargants you can make from this. You get your gate breaker, you get your war stomper, and you get your kraken eater, which I think the war stomper is more of like the leader choice, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty determined that I'm going to be making the gate breaker because I like this guy, these have a lot of details on them, they have a lot of cool stuff and I did have a sneak peek at the book inside and you do get to mix and match a lot of the stuff so if you're really stuck on what to make it does look like that you can mix and match different weapons and stuff like that and um, so hopefully that will all go according to plan when you want to do it so first off we have the book i'll get to that um, after we have a look at the sprues uh, so let's have a look we have one two there's a half one four sprues all together here is the base god damn this thing is huge if i have my scab and bombardier here on top of that there's a base, comparison, base size comparison anyway. So let's have a look at the first a big sprue here. Now there is an awful lot of stuff on this. Let me zoom in. There's an awful lot of detail on this. So we'll start up here. We have the back of a head. It's mostly like weapon parts. A few hands and things like that. You have one of the big heads here. Um, a bottom jaw with the tongue. So it looks like there's gonna be a lot of parts to put together. Apart from the body, I'd imagine the body is kind of big and clunky. Uh, the rest of it is going to be parts all mixed and matched and stuff like that. So we have the net here, which looks like it's full of things, which would be an absolute delight to paint. And um, the other part of the net here, there is the neck, the big fingers up here, which look really good. Now look at this head here, which is, I'm not too sure which head this is, I think it's a Kraken Eater. Compared to this set, the, compared to the size of this head, this one is much bigger. Um, I don't think the guy I was on the build, you have parts of his head here, you have like the cloth for his head and everything like that. Now, look at these parts over here, which are really, really amazing details. This big, uh, there's a name on this, I've seen it in the Warmer community the website, but this is like a shark jaw. That is incredible. I really want to get that on. What's the guy I wanted to make the gate crasher? Gate breaker, let me have a look. Gate breaker, yeah, I don't think that's like on that model, but I'd really like to find a way to fit that onto him. That looks incredible. You have a really nice kind of dead, messed up body here as well. That looks really nice. Um, overall, there's a lot of really cool parts on this. Here's another part of the hood for the gate breaker. Um, I'm really looking forward to putting him together because I think with the gate breaker, I think he kind of suits like an army like the Skaven or it's like hey we need something big to break down this gate because they don't really have nothing huge apart from a hell pit abomination and um, here we have other parts that will go on the back of them a big bell I think this is belong to the gatekeeper this bell part here wrapped up with chains even the fingers look huge these are absolutely massive I can't wait to get this guy and uh, sized up compared to all the other models that I have here as well now here is this is really cool this is like a squid or an octopus tentacle that's going to be an amazing bit to have to use for something here we have some arrows tree trunks you have his arm that's wrapped with wood for extra protection next up we have the other big screw with or sprue which is has a lot more little pieces we have like shield stuff here like this and um, other little parts are like ropes another big arm there as well like a cattle skull really big cattle skull which looks really good. Spare parts. Um, we have a crow, which is going to be really weird to put on him. That would be cool to put on his shoulder so you can have like another size comparison on the model at all times. Another weapon piece here, one half of that, which looks a big, looks like a big rock with some uh, wood wrapped around it. We have another arm here with a big elbow. Just lots of little parts to put around him, like here, bits of wood with a, like a metal plate on it. 
This is his, not chest, but like a belly plate with, with a corn symbol on it, which I really like. I really like that part. Now this part, I don't know what it is. It's some part of the skin anyway. There's the other half of the bell up here for the gate breaker. So lots and lots of cool little parts on that. Now onto the final sprue, which is full of a lot of chunky parts by the looks of it. Now this looks, this is a handhold on a body here as well. Uh, this, oh shit, look at that. Look at that big foot, that big manky toenail hanging off him. That's really cool. That looks really big. That looks really big compared to this foot. Like that big toe is way bigger than that big toe. So we're gonna have to see what way that works out. So here I think is probably the back part of him that covers his ass. And his big fat ass because it's really big. Here's the hand holding the little guy. Which I'm strongly thinking of taking that head off and putting a scaven head on like I did with uh, my Storm Fiends. And here we have the chest with the shoulders. Which looks like a big bra nearly. So it's kind of wrapping up the final parts here. Here we have his big old belly. Big leg with the claw and another big leg. And there's another part of the foot that's there. So that's... This guy's going to have some big feet. Big massive mama feet. And his back here. Now this... There's a lot of parts on this that there's a lot of spare parts going to be left on this because the gatekeeper by the looks of him is pretty bare there's not a whole lot on him like if you compare him to uh, the war stomper the war stomper has like a lot of things here on his back and everything uh, this arm has a lot of stuff his weapon uh, a net full of stuff kind of like a part of a boat that's on his back Lots of dangly bits here as well on the crack in the ear. Um, but the gate or the gate breaker is just pretty much Fort Crush of Flail and carrying a guy. So maybe I might mix and match some different parts up. I might like add this part on, Titanic Boulder Club onto him. Um, just to make it look a bit more like make him look like he can cause a bit more devastation. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through this book. Now this book it tells you how to build different parts. So you have like your Kraken Eater, your War Stomper, and your War Stomper and your Gate Breaker. Now the first, I think it's only the two pages. Yeah, first two pages are the, it's for all of them. You get to build everything the exact same. So I have like your main part here. You just have to add different feet, different heads, and different arms. And then it's pretty much up to you then what you want to do after that. So I'm going to crack on with this. I will see you guys in a second. What I'll probably do is build the body up first. Have a talk about it. See what it's like. And then uh, get all the parts clipped off and cleaned up. And then put them together and see what it's like as well. So I will see you guys in a second. Alright so we have the first part built. This guy is pretty chunky. You can really get a feel for the size of this model now. Uh, like roughly like here's like a GW plastic uh, glue you know he's he's a big chunky guy hollow on the inside everything went together really well clipped off and you can clean all the bits off without any problem there's no parts that have to be cleaned off in awkward parts there's a few more lines you might see there's like maybe across there that you might have to get off but other than that they're very vague I, they'll probably even look like they might disappear once a bit of paint goes on them but overall, so far, everything has gone together really well, really quick. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to jump on with the gate breaker parts. And we will see how I get on with that when I get back. Alright, so he is all built up. He is finished. He is a big lump of a giant. This guy is pretty impressive. Uh, the only bad thing I've seen people talk about this is, once it's built, it's like... Oh, this isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. And when you kind of compare it to some other models that I'm going to do in a few minutes, it can seem like that, but this is like a big humanoid type of guy. It's not like a big, well, it is a monster, but it's like a big man-shaped thing. And I think it is incredible. It is a big model. And the rest of them was pretty easy to put together. It just took a lot longer because there are a lot of little details. All this stuff here is all like individual pieces. And the arm here alone is like one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. The same on this side. The head is about four or five pieces, and he has a big, huge, giant feet. They were like two pieces each, and all this has to go on. So, overall, pretty easy to put together. 
didn't have much problems just following the instructions and yeah pretty quick to put together as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get all these models i have lined up over here for a size comparison and we'll see what this guy looks like compared to a mixture of other models from games workshop all right so we have the mega gargant lined up here i have got a whole bunch load of different models from warhammer from age of sigmar and 40k just to get a size comparison so we're going to start off with something small we're going to start off with my favorite army which is the skaven now this is a clan rat from uh, spike claw swarm it's kirk the almost trusted he's not much taller than a normal clan rat basically he's a clan rat the size comparison this guy is about the size of his big toe but also in that box you get spike claw himself now this Spike Claw himself is pretty much the same size, but including the base, he's very high up. He's a very kind of big model for a clan rat, warlord type of size model. Uh, he's much bigger, but even in this, he's not even up to the top part here. He's still very small. The giant is still standing tall. So let's jump over to some 40k now. Now here we have your good old tactical space marine. <laughs> I've never seen a Space Marine look so small. Now if we put a Primaris Marine next to them, now Primaris Marines, once you put them next to each other, they don't look massively bigger than a normal Tactical Marine, but they are, they're much bigger, they're much bulkier, but size comparison to the Mega Gargant, these guys are still tiny. So next up we're going to go with your standard Stormcast Eternal model. Now this guy, Stormcast models are, they're big, like if you put them next to a clan rat, much bigger than a clan rat, you put them next to a Primaris Marine, he's not much bigger, but he's way more bulkier, so these are kind of like the standard for your big guys fighting in the battlefield, and as you can see, he's still no size for the Mega Gargant, so let's go up another size, now we have one of the biggest models you can have for the Skaven which is the Storm Fiend. Now this is my converted Storm Fiend for my clan Scurvy army. He's big, he's bulky, he, these guys, I love having these in my Skaven army because they're so big but he's not even half the height of the Mega Gargant. He's roughly up to like halfway to his thigh, just above the knee probably. So size comparison the mega gargant is still looking mega so let's go up another size now which we have another stormcast model we have vandis hammerhand of the stormcast eternals now this is the model from the starter set this is a pretty bulky model it's big it's chunky and size comparison he's kind of not too bad compared to the mega gargant the mega gargant is still much much bigger bigger than him and um, so it's still much much bigger than that so now we switch up to another bigger model which kind of feels like everyone has one of these in their army some type of dreadnought in a 40k army or a space marine army uh, i think this is the ironclad one this is the one i got with uh, the weekly set um warhammer conquest i love this dreadnought it's really big and um, it's not like as kind of robust as the other dreadnoughts lots of space between his legs and everything like that size comparison this guy is a beast on the battlefield for space marines compared to a, a primaris marine it's like two and a half times the height but he's still standing well below the size of a mega gargant so now we're going to look at another scaven one is this the last scaven one no it's not we're nearly finished with the scaven ones but this is the big scaven monster we have the hell pit abomination now this is a big model it's longer more than uh as not as much as high but it's more length in it it's very thick in the front here and um, compared to the mega gargant as you can see he's about halfway up and to be honest with you the mega gargant makes this guy look really small um which is really surprising so we're going to switch to now what everyone has compared size with these guys this is the normal gargant model now this is converted a little bit he has no head he has like scaven guys coming out but basically it's the same size as a normal gargant so compared to the mega gargant it's still pretty big let's have a look let's have a stormcast guy here in the middle to compare to all the sizes now a gargant is a big model they're really awesome to have but like what's this guy up to his stomach his belly which is awesome which is really cool uh we're going to go to another monster now for age of sigmar we have 
I'm not too sure on the name, but it's a Saurus from the Seraphon. Now, this is a big model. I love this model. It's again, it's more length than height, but it's a big beefy model. Now he does have a rider on top of it. I just haven't glued him on here yet. Like the Saurus General. Now with the General on top, height wise, he's right up there with him. If you include this very top part here, he's just about up to the neck. He's just about above the belly if you include this, just the model. So we're not doing too bad. We're getting up to the height of the Mega Gargant almost. The Seraphon are doing the best job so far to get right up there. So now we're going to switch to another big Skaven model. Now this one is chunky. This is Bone Ripper and Tankle. Now this guy is up on a lot of cork on this base. I built this model up a couple of years ago and it's very big. So with this kind of more scenic base than average than an average base he's still smaller he's a lot more wider i think but like initially bone ripper is way smaller without this base if you put it like that size if you take all this part away and put it just way further down like you could almost put the gargant up to like here and he still towers over big old tankle and bone ripper i absolutely love this model so let me scooch him over here and have a look at our final 40k model. Now this is the biggest 40k model I have. This is one of the, I, I'm not too sure what names, I'm just going to call it a Premier's Tank. So this thing is much bulkier, much longer than the Gargant, than the Mega Gargant. But still, height wise, the Gargant still towers over it. If this was like a 40k model, this would look like an amazing battle. This looks like something that could go one on one with each other. But again, the Mega Gargant still towers over him completely. Now the final Skaven model, which is the Screaming Bell. Now this is a big model. You kind of see this a lot and you kind of dismiss how big it is until you see it like this. I didn't even think about it. Um, this is literally on the same height as the Mega Gargant. It's a big, it is really is a big model. I'm kind of astounded that I forgot how big this thing is. It's just maybe it's the base that makes this look bigger, makes it look way taller. But then I think this is probably one of the models that people are going to forget about how big it is compared to the Mega Gargant. So this is right up there with the Mega Gargant size. I think maybe this could do with a bigger base because everything on it completely goes outside the edges of the base. I know it has like a narrow look to it, but surprisingly, this thing is right up there with the Mega Gargant. Now, onto one of the final models I'm going to look at now. And you're probably going to be surprised to see this, but this is the Gargan from the Beastmen. And I was totally surprised that this thing is way, way bigger than I remembered. This really does stand up against the, the Mega Gargant in size. And I was really surprised by this because I, uh, I, as far as I could remember, this thing was the size of a Gargant, and, oh, his hand is stuck. It's way bigger than a normal Gargant, so I think this could be like an undersung, or an underrated model to have on the battlefield for size comparison. He's not as big as the Mega Gargant, but he's right up there, so kind of kudos to the Gorgon. Now, the final thing I'm going to do is have some size comparison with Terrain which I really think is what helps this model stick out. So I have some of the Sigmarite mausoleum pieces sticking out here. Uh, so these are like the scale for your normal size human in the Age of Sigmar world. So if these are like for scale for like a normal little guy like you and me, this is what it really looks like sized up against a Mega Gargant. So this makes him look like the real giant that he is. He like this is probably about like three of these on top of each other. He looks absolutely colossal next to this. And I think to really get like the best pictures for your Mega Gargant, I think the right idea would be to put it in next to some of this normal sized terrain. Even put it in behind this, he still towers over because if you think about it, this is the gate breaker. Um, and this is what he's meant to do. He's meant to smash through all this terrain like this. And he is absolutely massive compared to the size in that. So I really liked reviewing this model. I think this is an absolute beaut. The only downside of the Mega Gargant I really think is it's great to have a lot of bits left over. You can use them for like multiple different things. It's really great like that. But there is a... I thought a lot more than bits would have gone used on the model. Like there's kind of too much left over. If like I don't want to sound like I oh, like oh, there's too many bits with it. 
but I thought a lot more than bits would have been used but other than that really no complaints the model went together really well it clipped off the sprue without any problems there was no small bits uh, kind of annoying that were sticking out um, and maybe hard to get there it was really easy really simple few little tricky parts to put together but even saying it, a tricky part to put together is a bit of an exaggeration almost so i highly recommend this model i probably might get another one down the line just to do some conversions with it i like to do conversions with stuff like this uh, with the bigger guys and of course i'm going to put them with my skaven army eventually i'll work it in somehow but uh yeah let me know what you guys think of the mega gargan have you guys got one have you just been waiting for a review just like this to come out to see what it's really like um before you make up your mind i recommend it i think it's well worth it check it out on element games you do get a massive discount on the model so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below so thanks for watching and hopefully i see you guys in the next video